here on the Stand Island, uh, Waterway Bay, it was uh, constructed as habitat for migrant shorebirds specifically, uh, for roosting and potentially nesting. Uh, it was designed off uh, the idea I got, there's an island actually over here, which uh, Phil Straw gave me a but I'll photo I'll probably around the 70s or something that had a small island and um, I was surprised by the number of birds that are actually on that island. So we kind of used that as a, as a, um, a stimulus for what we wanted to do here. It was only about 100 square metres, so we designed it with 100 square metres of roosting habitat. Um, the Uni of New South Wales got involved with uh, wind waves and patents of uh, the, the, the uh, currents and things. We didn't want a tombolo effect where there'd be a spit going back to land. So it's, it's kind of predator free, keeps the foxes and cats off here and it's proven so far to be pretty successful. We get uh, plenty of pelicans and non-shore birds um, and seagulls. I mean those guys have got uh, webbed feet and can uh, sit on the water but shore birds uh, have to wade and they don't have webbed feet but we're getting out here, bar-tailed godwits have been out here, uh, tatlers, we've had um, what else we get? Eastern curlew. So um, yeah, so it's proven successfully already. And we've even had uh, last year or this season uh, pied oyster catchers uh, nesting on here. So that was that was fantastic because they're they're really running out of places to, to go. If you look around, you know, there's just so much development happening and uh, running out of roosting sites, particularly. I mean, a lot of the food sources are still here. The mud flats and stuff are not largely affected, but it's more I think roosting habitats the issue. So so far, it's uh, proved to be okay. An issue we're out here today for is uh, all this kakili, this seed rockets uh, coming with the sand and we didn't expect that so there's some seed and uh, the birds really want a good view. They want to be able to sit out here and just check uh, 360 degrees, make sure there's no predators and have a good view um, and the the, uh, the vegetation uh, doesn't help that so we really want no vegetation out here. Uh, yeah, so far so good.